in this video, we will discuss the differences between charge and mass. We will discuss these four points. So the very first point is what? The charge can exist without mass, cannot exist without mass, but mass can exist without charge. So charge to exist, it needs mass, okay? Only if a body has the mass, it's only then it will have charge. But mass can exist without charge. It is not necessary that if a body is not having charge, then it won't have mass. It might have mass even though there is no charge, okay? The second point is what force between the charges, okay? Force between two charge bodies or two charges can be what either at then they will repel each other, right? And if you are having unlike charges, then they will attract each other. That means the electrostatic force can be either attractive or it can be repulsive, right? Between charges. Next, gravitational force between two masses is always attractive. It means when you're having two bodies of some mass, then they will always attract each other. Okay, they will not repel, they will just attract. This is second difference between charge and mass. The third difference is charge does not depend on the speed of the body. That means charge is independent of the speed. There is no change in the charge of a body, okay, with the change in its speed. But mass is what mass of a body changes with the speed. And this is valid using the formula of relativistic mass. I guess you all know it is M, okay? M is equals to M naught by root over 1 minus V square by C square. Actually, it is uh, gamma M naught D square. And gamma is equals to 1 by root over 1 minus V square by C square. So, this is the rest mass. This is the relativistic mass. So, for any body, if you are having the speed to be very, very greatest, before you used to take what? V is equals to, uh, V is what? We are taking that. Uh, this V, this is the speed of the body. Okay, It is very, very less than the speed of the light. Then you are getting M is equals to M naught. The relativistic mass is equals to rest mass. But now if this is having some value, this entire denominator will have some value and you will get M naught is equals to some value into it M. Okay, that is the rest mass is what? Increasing, right? That means mass of a body is changing with the speed. Okay, so from this formula, you can put on the statement. So I'm writing it here, okay? Uh, by this formula, M is equals to M naught by root over 1 minus V square by C square. Clear? So what is the fourth point? Fourth point is that charge can be either positive So the fourth point is what charge can be either positive, negative or zero. Okay, we know that a body can have either positive charge, it can have negative charge or it can have zero charge. But mass is always positive. Okay, because mass cannot be negative, mass cannot be zero. It will have certain value which is always positive. Suppose if I'm considering the weight of a person, okay, if it is 53 kg, okay, in 2022, 20, okay. But before, in 2021, if I consider the mass of a weight of any mass, okay, mass of any uh, person was 55 kg. Now, in, if one of your friend is having weight 53 kg, now in 2022, before in 2021, his weight was mass, mass, you can say mass was 50, sorry, it's not weight, it's mass, okay. If I say mass is 55 kg in 2021 and now in 2022, it's 53 kg. Though its mass is decreasing, but it's not negative. It will is a positive quantity. He or she has some mass, right? So mass can be always a positive quantity, but charge can be positive, negative or zero. So I think these four points are very easy. You can remember it. And whenever you ask that give two to three differences or a few differences on charge and mass, so you can mention these points. Okay, thank you so much. Have a good day.